Hey guys, Marco Mendoza here, and you're watching for bass players only. And this is John, the man. Stick around, man. A lot of great info coming your way. We'll see you out there. Yes, sir. You are. You are. Hi everyone, John Liebman here. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. And today we are here with Marco Mendoza. Man, how you doing, Marco? Good, brother. Excellent. You? Good to see you, brother. Good, good. It's, it's always good to see you, too. We run into each other several times throughout the year, Me and uh, it's nice to, to have a follow-up interview. We did an interview, God, it's got to be maybe three, four years ago. Got the whole story of your musical upbringing and everybody from White Snake to Ted Nugent to Thin Lizzy and everybody else. By the way, that interview was still up there for BassPlayersOnly.com. Just in the search thing, put in Marco Mendoza. It'll yes, pop right up. You are one busy man. I am. I'm, I'm so fortunate, so blessed, man. I've been uh, going from one thing to the next to the next to the next. When was that interview? Was that Base Day LA? Was that the No, no, we did a phone interview. Phone, okay. There you go. So, <laughs> tell me... What, what's what been keeping you busy and what you've got going on now? Well, recently, I mean, I've been, uh, we did the Black Star Writers thing and I got to the point where uh, a few situations came up and I had to take a look at, one of which is uh, the Dead Daisies right now. I've been spending two years, roughly. Uh, and just recently this year, we released a album called Revolution. And uh, uh, funny enough, we were like one of the first bands to make it to Cuba earlier this year and so before it was easy to go to Cuba huh? it was well I hadn't been there it was one of those things and, and you know from living in LA there's a lot of Cuban musicians that I started working with and I always wanted to go there it was one of those places one of those bucket lists and it just so happened that it came up uh, management here at the Dead Daisies started talking to all of us and uh, and they said where would be a place that you would want to go and uh, Daryl Daryl Jones from the Stones was covering up for me. He's the one that brought it up. He says, you know, Cuba would be a good place. So uh, the ball started rolling. The stars aligned. They talked to the right people at the right time. And excuse me. And there we were. We were. Daryl's a great guy. I've interviewed him, and he's uh, he also endorsed my uh, base aerobics book. Great yeah, guy. Great nice. guy. I gotta check it out, man. I gotta check it out. Absolutely. I get you a copy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So back to the album we started we decided to start recording in cuba because we our rehearsal place happened to be the uh recording studio in habana you know abdullah and so management kind of brought it up so you guys why don't we record something we're here and so we agreed we got in the studio and we started recording and uh and that started the ball rolling we decided to book some studio time in sydney and we came out with this album, which I love. I'm very proud of. It's called Revol Revol Revolution. Revolution. Yeah, it inspired for. I just wanted to hear you say it again because I like that. Revolution. Yeah, uh, inspired by our trip to Cuba, and uh, and also we had this song floating around that we started playing when we were out with Bad Company Skinner uh, a few years ago in uh, Mexico. So let's just say, long story short, we jumped on the Latin American ride and. Uh, uh, the response has been great. We've been uh, extremely busy getting invited everywhere. We just finished Kiss this summer, and we did some festivals out there. Let me jump in here. What was it like traveling with Kiss? It's always great, man. Those guys, I mean, the ultimate rock and roll band for me, uh, from every angle, every possible angle. I mean, showmanship, the music, the catalog, the history. Does Gene Simmons hang out, or does he? Does he's not really much of a reclusive. He likes to be, you know, out there and approached. From, from my experience with him. Exactly, and and uh, you know that's uh, the impression we all have as as fans and all that is that he's not approachable. But contrary to that, he is. Tell me about your equipment, Marco. You've got a whole uh, a pretty pretty good arsenal of basses, strings, amps, effects. I do. Um, I'm uh, I'm with ESP right now. I've had a relationship with them now for three years, and I'm really happy. I got to say, I found some great people there that understand what it takes to support an artist. You know, completely, fully. Great company. Yes, and Matt and Jeff and and uh, uh, great guys, man. 
uh, Chris is now handling it, Canela. Uh, and we're coming out with a signature bass here. I just I was just playing with the prototype. I, I got home for a few days, and I got to say, it's amazing. When when will that hit the streets? Uh, we're hoping for NAM show, obviously. Go NAM Winter NAM 2016. Yes, that's what we're shooting for. Um, we got I got to make sure. Me as a player, as a bass player, as you well know, I want to make sure that it's, it's you know that every angle is covered, that you grab the bass and you go whoa, the playability's there, the neck, the tone. The simplicity of it all, because I've gotten as I've gotten older and mature, I like simple things: volume, tone. <laughs> I hear you. And uh, and when I'm doing the big the big arena rock thing, uh, sometimes it works against me to have too many options, you know. So uh, yeah. Well, that's exciting. How about strings? Strings. I'm uh, with Diodario. Been with Diodario for a while too. I'm really happy. Uh, those guys really take care of me, and and in my opinion, it's like, uh, you know, top two or three st strings out there. So, and amps, you're a hard key guy, right? I'm a hard key guy. Been been with hard key too, and again, you know, uh, uh, the support is amazing. Um, never had a problem with any other rigs, and we go from you know the stadiums to the the big festivals to the arenas to the little clubs. Uh, and I haven't had an issue yet, so I'm um, very happy, man. I hope you never do. No, 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 but, you know, I've, I have in the past, and uh, so I'm really happy with with uh, with the companies and the families that I'm with right now. Yeah, They're good. taking care of me. Well, that's good. How about effects? Effects, I use EBS pedals. I've had a relationship with those guys with Bo and Berg, and they really know what they're doing, they, and, and they're a bass company, you know. Uh, so they focus on that, and I use TC Electronics, mm. uh, and uh, 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 Dunlop as well. I mean, I've I've done a few things. It all depends on the gig uh, and what I'm gonna need, you know. And I have my preferences, you know. But uh, again, you know, I have to say I'm I I try to stay away from too many effects. I like the bass signal that comes straight into the amp, yep. and then whenever possible, I let the front of house take care of the effects or the monitor guy. And sometimes they're willing to do that, so that's cool. But oh, good. How yeah. about the future, Marco? I mean, you've played with d darn near everybody. Wow. Well, what else would you like to do, or who else would you like to play with, or maybe another project or something? What uh, What would you like to do? You met. You mentioned. You made a reference to bucket list earlier, so uh, maybe something along those lines. Yeah, bucket list. Wow, there's so many, man. Music uh, to me has always been a, a vast, uh, you know, vast thing, man, and it's ever changing at infinitum. Um, Every, every time I think I have a plan, something else comes up and pops it and uh, changes it. So I'm open, you know, I'm, the journey's been great so far and I'm hoping for some more. Uh, that I would like certain things to happen, yeah, but again, you know, I just, uh, I'm excited to, uh, to be part of the journey and I'm enjoying the whole ride. Uh, I, every so often I get asked, if you could do, what would you do? Well, yeah, you know, would love to play with who if Pino's busy you know I would love to play with Eric Clapton and Ginger Baker now that you know Maestro uh, you know Jack Bruce passed away of course you know the landmarks the, the bands that I grew up listening to that that kind of set this whole thing on fire for me you know Paul McCartney if I ever had a chance to play a song with him it would just be insane obviously uh, and um, you know, Jimmy Page and Robert Plant, of course, you know, but uh, it's all good, man. I'm so just wide open to the to what the, the future's going to bring. And I see it's going to be a very bright one. Uh, it's so bright that I'm wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> what a cliche. That's terrible. I, I had to. <laughs> I, I don't remember if I asked you this last yes, time sir. or not, but what would you be if you weren't a bass player? Something outside of music. I would probably um, uh, I would probably do something with food or uh, something in the culinary biz because I love to cook. I don't get to do it that often, and whenever I do, I get a lot of compliments. So I won't get into it, but uh, I think 
it's a fine art to be able to put things together in dishes and cook and present them, you know. Well, how about we, we get the uh, for bass players only staff together and we go over to your house and you make dinner for all of I us? I will. I will. Absolutely, man. Let's do it. Uh, that and also maybe a pilot. I've always wanted to fly it. I've had the opportunity to fly. That's another interview recently. And I'm kind of pursuing that. That's always been something in my blood. My son is a pilot as well. So... Um, I'm looking at that, you know. I, uh, Quite a uh, variety of interests. Very yeah. cool. It's always great catching up with good you and talking you, with you. Yeah. Marco you. Mendoza, keep yes, doing sir. what you're doing, and good luck. And uh, we'll, we'll look forward to, uh, to the, the record and the band and everything else. And, Thank uh, and thanks very much. Always great catching up. TheDeadDaisies.com, right? TheDeadDaisies.com and MarcoMendoza.com. Tons Got of it. info. Tons, tons of info. I'm John Liebman with Marco Mendoza, who's got tons of info. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Yes, sir.